Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Cliff here, um, inspiring, building and flying, and hopefully flying the Grillo Spitfire. Started off as rubber powered free flight, went on to radio control just on rudder and elevator. Um, I had lots of power from this little BL motor, but um, it wouldn't turn. The rudder on these models just doesn't work. So um, I'm going to fit ailerons. So uh, just been looking at the wing. What I'm going to do, I'm going to cut it out about a scale size. I've got a couple of old servos. I'm going to cut the leaves off and extend them onto these little linear servos. I've got a pair of those and make the hole through the wing, pass the wire up through. That would be fun. Uh, so I think I'm going to start by chopping the ailerons out and be a bit of repair work to do, yeah, but it's going to be a fun little project. Shouldn't take too long to do, famous last words, and see if we can get the bird in the air. The original Grillo's kit wasn't um, banded on wings, it was glued on, but it wouldn't have survived this long. Banding the wings on proved to be a really good thing to do. It took a little bit extra work, um, but it, it saved the model from several cart wheels and all that sort of stuff. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. So we'll bend you down and have a little look at uh, my progress. I've had to make a decision about the incision. Get rid of that vice a minute. And the decision I've come to is get the saw out and start hacking away. Now, actually, I'm going to cut the tissue off here. And then saw through there, cut through here, and remove. So first off, let's remove the tissue. down there yeah it's just tissue so let's just take it up to the edge and cut it off Now this cut has to be 90 degrees to the rib. And in line with the other ribs. Okay, good. I'm gonna do the same to the opposite side clean it all up a little bit and then we'll take to the next stage. See you in a minute. So I'm going to build that up into an aileron. Right, there's my two pieces. This job is to find a bit of 16th balsa and cap in the back of there and then build up the rest of the aileron. There we go. Now that has to be tapered so that bit of wood's tapered so that will glue in there so I've got to put a piece of wood on the front of this and up the sides yeah that's fine bit of progress guys um, got the end ribs on then I, I put the end ribs all the way down and a bit of leading edge on the aileron so now that fits in there like that as you notice the trailing edge is still too big i'll hinge it first should bring it out about half a mil 30 second 
and then I'll sand the trailing edge to fit. So I'll get on and do the other one and come back to you in a minute. Okay, one aileron, where are you? Two ailerons. Two ailerons built. I'll hinge them next and sand the trailing edge. What am I going to use for hinge material? All right, for hinges, I've just used the plastic ones that you use on full size, full or well, bigger RC models. Just cut three little strips out, as you can see, and it just goes in there a treat. So what I can do now is to get the trailing edge sanding back to match the contour. Then I can think about servo placement and control horn. There we are. Just for a bit more um, clarity, I've stripped the covering off of this end of the wing or underneath. The servos are going to sit just in there like that. I'm going to leave the, uh, the um, lever open so I can see what's going on. And then I'll just run a push rod from the arm, the linear servos from the arm to the control surface. Drop that on. Okay, we'll let that one dry. Do this like that. Okay. I'll let that set off a little bit before I try and curl it around. The water spritz has tightened the tissue out enough. Just had an idea. Instead of putting it on the balsa, let's balance it on a socket less inclined to stick there. Lovely, let's have a look at the wing. I don't know if you can see now, but the torn edge of the tissue is blended in with the tissue underneath. And by the time it's stoked, you're just not gonna see the join. Amazing actually how it makes the tissue go transparent. Cheers. And then we can come back and give it another coat. Thanks for looking in guys. Uh, if you want to follow along with this build, uh, you're most welcome. Hit the little subscribe button, hit the bell button. Be notified when, uh, well in this case, the maiden, it's not the maiden, it's flown several times, but the maiden as a Four channel Guillo's kit. This is the bigger uh, Guillo Spitfire, by the way. Well, only uh, 15 minutes has surpassed and it's tightened out nicely. So let's just give things another coat and uh, then I can hinge the ailerons. This is just Aero modeling at its finest, really. Uh, to tissue cover something, can dope it up, and you end up with a solid looking structure, incredibly light, as aeroplanes were always built. It's just so satisfying. All right, so we'll let that dry, and um, I'll hinge the ailerons, mount the servos, and uh, make up some push rods. And wow, we're nearly there. Just glued the horns in as well. I'd say that was complete now guys give it a paint get the servos in get it connected up and uh, do something about that roundel as well. 
Oops. I've just glued in the servos and well threaded the cables up through the wings successfully. So here we go. Quite noisy, but I hope they're man enough to do the job. So all I've got to do now is make up a pair of push rods and see if we can't uh, get them working. All I've done is a couple of Z bends in a pair of um, with a pair of Z bend pliers, and then a piece of um, heat shrink to join the join them together, so I can vary them in and out. But um, let's try them. Hopefully that'll be enough. I've got about three sixteenth, four or five mil each way. Slightly more up than down, which is good. Oh, brilliant. Okay. So I can now assemble that, assemble it all back up. Well, that's good, isn't it? Hee <laughs> hee. Ailerons. So last time I flew it on rudder elevator, it banked to the left and I had full right rudder and it just wouldn't come out and it just cartwheeled in. Give it another go, this time with ailerons. It could really fly very nicely. Looking, really looking forward to it actually. Really looking forward to it. Should be great. See you in a moment when I've just assembled it. <laughs> Bye. Okay, she's all back together and working nicely. Ready for a test flight. I've got ailerons. Elevator, rudder, and throttle. That was uh, not full throttle, by the way. As I say, thanks for watching, and if you want to hit the little subscribe button down below just to follow my exploits, that'd be great. Now I can get back on to this one which is only not quite finished and we look forward to seeing you up at the up at the field see how this one goes I mean it's a cracking model let's face it beautiful and very very strong anyway see you up at the patch and thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next video cheers guys